Hello friends, English Olympiad is approaching and today we are going to solve one more previous year question paper for class 4 and that too for International English Olympiad. So are you ready? If you have not yet subscribed the channel then you are missing out on many videos, many question papers regarding Olympiad. So please do so and let's move on for solving the question paper. First section is word and structure knowledge. For questions 1 to 9, choose the correct option to fill in the blank. Let's see question 1. I thought you are dash with this concept, known with this concept, familiar with this concept, equal with this concept or voluntary with this concept. Now here the right answer should be option B familiar. I thought you are familiar with this concept. And why that so? Because familiar means having a good knowledge or understanding of something. And that fits absolutely correct. Question 2. Richa is crying because the bag we lost in the fair was her, its, hers or our. And the right pronoun to be used here should be option C, hers. It is a possessive pronoun and it is used to show ownership. Question 3. The meal dash rice curry and salad includes, include, including or does includes. The sentence here is in simple present tense and when the subject that is the meal is singular then the verb should be option A. Includes. The meal includes rice curry and salad. Question 4. Jacob takes dash shower every morning. A and the or no article. We will use indefinite article a uh, with a noun that starts with a consonant sound. Shar. Sh. We can hear the consonant sound. So we'll use a uh, over here. A shar every morning. Option A is the right answer. Question 5. Ajay's dash nature made him very unpopular. So Ajay was made very unpopular. That means his nature was not good. Something which is not good. Let's see the option. Mature, kind, arrogant and calm. So here out of all these four, only arrogant is one nature which is in a negative aspect. So the right answer should be option C, arrogant. Ajay's arrogant nature made him very unpopular. Question 6. Amidst the pandemic, Dash, I volunteer at the government hospital amidst the pandemic before, last month, tomorrow or annual. The right answer here should be option B, last month. Question 7. She didn't take part dash the dance competition in, at, on or for. The right preposition we should use here is option A, in. While we are doing something, we say she didn't take part in the dance competition. Question 8. We went to the market dash shopped for eatables. But shopped for eatables? Yet, because or and. Now here there are two sentences being joined. So we will use conjunction and over here. To link two sentences in a single sentence, we went to the market and shopped for eatables. Right option is option D. Question 9. The boy dashed up the tree so that the bear couldn't see him. Climb, climbs, climbed or climbing. Now here we can clearly see that we are talking about the past incident. Right? And we have to find the verb which is there in the Past tense. That is second form of verb. So what it is? Is it climb, climbs, climbed or climbing? The right answer is option C, climbed. This is the right verb which we should use for any incident which has happened in the past in this sentence. The boy climbed up the tree so that the bear couldn't see him. For questions 10 and 11, choose the part of the sentence that has an error. Question 10, sudden. Ravisha became super polite. So here uh, the correct sentence should be suddenly Ravisha became super polite. 
rather than said than they should have been suddenly so option a is the right answer question 11 the next fish trip would be great with our new gear now to correct the sentence it should be the next fishing trip would be great with our new gear so the right option is the next fish it should be the next fishing trip option a is the right answer for questions 12 and 13 choose the option with correct spelling and looking at question 12 it looks like they are talking about transparent the right answer here should be option b and the right spelling is t r a n s p a r e n t question 13 looking at the options it looks like they are talking about philosophy and the right spelling is in option a p h i l o s o p h y philosophy question 14 choose the synonym of fearless what is synonym synonym is the word having the same meaning and uh, fearless shy timid heroic or weak which out of these four has the same meaning like fearless and the right answer is option c heroic heroic is the synonym of fearless because both means showing a lack of fear or admirably brave question 15 choose the antonym of puzzled antonym means opposite word now here the options are exhibited sure confused and lost the right answer should be sure sure is the antonym of puzzled puzzled means unable to understand something and sure means having no doubt about anything next section is of reading so let's read the passage and then answer the questions from 16 to 20 one day a man stopped to help an old lady who was stranded on the side of the road he decided to help her so he stopped his old jazz next to her mercedes and got out the old lady seemed a bit frightened and nervous because of his shabby appearance the man sensing this approached carefully and tried to calm her he said to her don't worry i am here to help you my name is john william he proceeded to fix her flat tire and became dirty and slightly injured in the process When he was finished the lady asked him how much she owed him he responded by telling her that if she really wanted to repay him she should pass on the kindness to someone else in their time of need later that evening the lady stopped at a small dingy cafe the waitress who served her was pregnant and tired despite her apparent exhaustion the waitress was very sweet and friendly The lady wondered how someone who was so tired from a long day of work could still be so friendly and kind to her. Then she remembered John. When the day lady finished her meal, she paid with a hundred dollar bill. The waitress went to get change, and when she came back, the lady was gone. She left a note on the napkin. You don't owe me anything. Somebody once helped me, just like I am helping you now. If you really want to pay me back, do not let this chain of love end with you. The waitress found five one hundred dollar bills under the napkin. That night, the waitress went home early. She thought about the lady and the money she left. She wondered how the lady could possibly know how much they needed it. She knew her husband was worried, and she was worried about him. She couldn't wait to tell him the good news. Then she hugged him. and whispered now everything will be okay i love you john william that was a beautiful passage now let's solve the questions question 16 the old woman was driving jazz mercedes bike or van the right answer is option b mercedes question 17 what was wrong with the old lady's vehicle no fuel low battery flat tire or no key it was flat tire option c Question 18 How did the man ask the old lady to pay him Very easy answer by passing on the kindness option C Question 19 The old lady left dash for the waitress $500 $100 only change just a handwritten note 
राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी द वर्ड डिंगी मीन्स डर्टी क्लोज क्लीन और ब्राइट डर्टी हेयर इज द राइट आंसर बिकॉज बोथ डिंगी एंड डर्टी मीन्स अनक्लीन ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट वन Now let's read another passage and then we'll answer the questions from 21 to 25. Most people would shudder at the idea of getting caught up in a 73.5 feet wave, but the Brazilian pro surfer Maya it presented the perfect opportunity to break her 2018 world record for the largest wave served by a female. The athlete skillfully conquered the massive wave earlier this year. at the inaugural world surf league that is wsl to surfing challenge in praia de norte portugal it was the same site where she made her first world record by riding an equally intimidating 68 feet wave i was in the zone and braver than i usually am on that day said gabriela i was risking more than i usually like to do When I let go of the rope I had a feeling it could be the one but wasn't true the speed was very high but the noise that the wave made when it broke made me realize that this was probably the biggest wave I had ever ridden though Gabia completed the incredible feat on February 11 2020 her record was not announced by the Guinness World Record until September 10 2020 That's because the WSL officials had to first determine whether it was the Brazilian surfer or her competitor Justine Dupont who had ridden the largest wave. Wave height from trough to crest is usually estimated with the help of photos and videos. However, the proximity of the last swells ridden by the two pro surfers and the possibility of a new world record being established warranted a more rigorous analysis. Let's answer the questions. Question twenty one. The first record was made by Gabia on in, and the right option is option B, twenty eighteen. Question twenty two. What made the surfer realize it was probably the biggest wave? And the right answer is it's noise. Option C. Who made sure the record was made by Gabia? It was World Surf League WSL. The height of the wave is from it is from trough to crest. The word intimidating means it means terrifying. Option A is the right answer. Moving to our next section that is spoken and written expression. For questions twenty six to thirty, choose the most suitable option to complete each conversation, and the example is also given. Question twenty six, Sumita. I am going to get some coffee. Do you want some? Rajan dash. No, I was. No, I am good. Yes, I am good. Yes, I don't. And the right answer here should be option B. No, I am good. Question twenty seven. Ravi, can you dash me salt and pepper? Soma. Sure. Here you go. The right answer here should be pass. Option C. Can you pass me salt and pepper? Question twenty eight. Rahul, Sumit plays football. Dash tomorrow, every evening, day or then. Here it is a simple present tense and it shows the activity which happens regularly, right? So the right answer here should be option B. Every evening, Sumit plays football every evening. Question twenty nine. Sachin, did Hari dash it with you? Shama no he didn't did hari discuss it with you option a here we have already used did as a past form of the verb so we'll use the basic form of the verb after that that is only discuss did hari discuss it with you question 30 rohit i forgot to switch off the heater beena oh we dash go back and switch it off we must go back and switch it off option c is the right answer moving to the next section or our last section that is achiever sections it holds double marks for each question for questions 31 and 32 choose the correct option to fill in the blanks 
31. I love the way your baby brother dash your actions. The right answer here should be B mimics because here baby brother is singular and then the verb will become plural. Question 32. Shasha dash the drowning girl bravely. Is it help, save, rescued or worried? Right answer here should be option C rescued. It is most suitable verb for the given question because it means to protect someone from something bad or dangerous. Question 33. Choose the part of the sentence that has an error. These shoes are exactly the same as my. Now here the right sentence should have been these shoes are exactly the same as mine. So the portion with an error is option D as my. Question 34. Choose the synonym of negate. Refute, allow, enact or support. Refute is the synonym of negate because both mean to state that something is incorrect or does not exist. Option A is the right answer. Question 35. Choose the correct option to complete the conversation. Rajini. I have never dashed classical music. Jyoti. Oh, I love classical music. I have never been in classical music, been classical music, been into classical music or be into classical music. And the right option is option C. I have never been into classical music. Been into means to be interested in something. And with this, we have successfully solved class 4 International English Olympiad previous year question paper. I hope that these videos are helping you in your Olympiad preparation. Keep watching these videos. Keep solving until you get all the answers correct. For now, thank you and happy learning. Stay tuned to Kids Onesie Laugh and Learn channel.